This is not a drill. This is not a joke, although it kind of feels like a joke a little bit. This is real and this is happening. Today we are reviewing a pair of Crocs and I like them. For years, Crocs have been maligned, they have been hated on, and they have been the kind of shoe that you would never want to be seen in. But over the last couple months, and I would even argue the last couple years, Crocs have been making their way into pop culture and even sneaker culture in a way that we never expected. You might be one of those people who thinks that $45 is too much to pay for a pair of Crocs and that you'd never want to be caught dead in a pair of Crocs. But you may be surprised to find out that there are actually collaboration Crocs out there that resell for upwards of four to $500. Over the last year alone, or should I say Malone, we've had multiple Post Malone collaborations. That didn't work. We've had multiple Post Malone collaborations. We've had Pleasures collaborations. We've had Chinatown Market collaborations. Murakami collaborations that go for like 600 bucks. And behind me, you might have just seen my video a couple days ago about the KFC collaboration which no surprise sold out but what really surprises me most is that the basic Crocs the plain colored Crocs have started to be worn by hype beasts now obviously hype beasts are not the trendsetters themselves although they probably think that they are they are a good indication of where fashion is going and it looks like Crocs might be the next wave. And I'm sorry to tell you, if you haven't been wearing Crocs for years, like Hess Kicks, you've actually probably already missed out on the wave. But enough of the hype crap, Crocs are genuinely a really solid sneaker, and it's no surprise that they're so popular, especially among normies. Some of you may remember that I bought my first pair of Crocs last year at Chicago Complex Con. It was the Chinatown Market Crocs, and to be honest with you, I really was only ever comfortable wearing them around my neighborhood because I was afraid of being judged, which is a terrible reason not to wear a pair of shoes, but I'm gonna be honest, that's why I didn't wear them anywhere else. But since owning that pair, and since wearing that pair on a pretty regular basis, I've actually picked up two more pairs of Crocs, the KFC pair behind me and this bright yellow pair, which I didn't really want yellow, but they had actually sold out of every other pair. See, they're very popular shoes. I don't understand it. I really wanted like the cream white pair or the light pink pair, but they only had yellow, so that's what I went with. If you're not familiar with Crocs, this is the Crocs Classic Clog. This is the most basic Croc, and it retails for a price of $44.99 or $45. Bucks. Prices can vary depending on the colorway, but most basic colored Crocs retail for about that price, and you can usually find pairs on sale for much cheaper. I think it's safe to say that the appeal of a pair of Crocs, other than not really caring about what people think of you, is the fact that they're extremely comfortable and they're very simple. Almost the entire shoe itself is made up of one piece of Croslite foam, which is essentially Crocs proprietary foam. The only other real piece of the shoe is this articulating Crocs strap, which you can put down to engage X Games mode. Obviously the colorway I grabbed is bright yellow, but there are literally hundreds of other colorways, if not thousands to choose from. Across the toe portion of the shoe, you've got this textured matte finish, which has these large circular punch outs. These punch outs are dual purpose. One, they offer a lot of ventilation, and two, you can also stick these things in called gibbets. Gibbets are like these little charms that are proprietary to Crocs, and they fit in these little holes, and you can pop them in, and they have tons of different designs. They come in pretty much any shape you would want. In fact, chicken on that Croc right there is a gibbet, and I could put that on this Croc if I wanted to. In fact, why am I not just doing it? This is obviously one of the more ridiculous gibbets, and it still smells like chicken, actually, which is, if you didn't see that video, you gotta check that video out. I've left a link at the top of the screen. It's ridiculous. But if I wanted to, I could stick this gibbet in this crock, like this, and just wear a chicken nugget on my regular yellow Crocs. When you accept the fact that you're wearing a pair of Crocs, literally nothing is off limits, like a chicken drumstick on your shoe. I actually kind of dig this because it doesn't look like the KFC Crocs, so if I wear this around like the mall or something, people are going to be like, what the hell? And to be fair, they would be right to say that because this is ridiculous. Around the edge of the toe, you've got more ventilation holes and this dimple texture. Also, yes, I'm keeping this drumstick on the shoe for the rest of the review, so you can suck it. Sans drumstick, this shoe is incredibly light and very easy to wear because of how light it is. Continuing back in the shoe, you've got some more textured foam, and of course you've got your Crocs strap, which I mentioned earlier. At the pivot point of the strap, you've got this nice little Crocs logo. It's actually a nice little crocodile smiling at you, which I... I guess I like. And then you've got the Crocs text embossed into the back of the strap. Inside the shoe, you've got one of my favorite details on the entire sneaker, and that's this massaging footbed. I personally really like this dimple texture. It feels really good against your foot. It might not be for everybody if you don't like that sort of, I guess, 
dimpled massaging feel, but after like the first 10 to 15 minutes of wearing the shoe, you stop noticing it. As for sizing and fit, Crocs do seem to run a little bit big, and not only that, they only come in whole sizes. So say you're a size nine and a half, I would definitely recommend going down to a size nine. For me, I'm a size nine, and I actually really like going down to a size eight because I just don't love all the room that this shoe gives you. And while that is appealing to a lot of people, I just like the fact that it doesn't slide off my foot whenever I'm walking around. Now I could fix that problem by going into X Games mode, but I'm not going to because I think that looks dumb. Seriously though, it is a very comfortable shoe and if you are half size, I would say go down rather than up. And if you're like me and you don't like the way that your true size fits, you can always go down a whole size and you should be fine. But as I always suggest, if you have the chance to try this shoe on first before you buy it, definitely do that to make sure you're grabbing the right size for you. The Crosslight foam does feel pretty good underneath your foot. It's not as soft as something like Boost or even the Yeezy Foam Runner for that matter, but it is a good feel underfoot and you'll definitely be comfortable wearing this shoe all day. Then finally moving to the outsole, you've got your standard Crocs traction pattern. And then in the center of the midfoot, you've got the Crocs logo, you've got Made in Vietnam, and also the men's and women's sizing information. Crocs are genuinely a really solid everyday shoe, and there's a reason why this shoe has been so popular for so many years. It's simple, it's very inexpensive, it's comfortable, and it's very easy to wash, which is a big deal for a lot of people who want to wear this shoe in dirty conditions. Will Crocs ever be the next off-white when it comes to hype releases? Probably not, but they are a shoe that a lot of people are coming around to, myself included. This shoe will obviously never replace the Jordans in my collection, but it's something that I feel like has a place on my feet every so often. But now I would love to know your thoughts on the Crocs Classic Clogs and whether you have a pair for yourself, so let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.